friend? Have you come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula, since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers. Doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. OK. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles, because you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, sir. Yes, they did! The person who merely watches the flight of a bird gathers the impression that the bird has nothing more to think of than the flapping of its wings. As a matter of fact, this is only a very small part of its mental labor. Hmm. To even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. The bird has learned this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly that its skill is not apparent to our sight. We only learn to appreciate it when we try to imitate it. And I, Charles Kinnear, will now demonstrate the miracle of flight. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. Oh, dear. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Stay close to the dog, son. Come on. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Come on. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now, the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. Yeah. Whoa there. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? 
I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? Jack, he's on to something. There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. It'll be your turn next. Shouldn't we be going? They watch it! All right, let's see if we can find some more. Find another one, Rufus! You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch yet. I know, yet. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds them, you take the lead. Find them, Rufus. What have you found, Rufus? Good boy. Let's go. Get after him, boy. Come on, Rufus! Yeah! Go on, Rufus! Slow it up! Huh? There they are! Jack, come on! Don't rush it. Nice work, son. 
You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. No, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Whoa! Come on! That's what I wanted. Come on! Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Happy to see you, customer. Howdy, mister. Oh, he's in the market. Enjoy the journey. Nice doing business with you. See you again, I hope. Take as long as you like. How do you do, Mr. Marston? Ah, come on in. How are you, mister? Options to suit any pocket. Now you're all set. Well, let's see what you got. That's all of it, sir. Best be going. Okay, then. Bye. Bye. All done. Uh, hello there, Let's head Mr. home. out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did have to work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Yeah. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. much fun I can't rightly believe it just like in the books we'll do it again soon now get to your chores Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry.
Wolf's been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare him off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Whoa. Come on! The dog will soon sniff him out. Come on! Time. Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Slow down. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go up, well, I worry you're not coming back. Come on, we can't stop now. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Come. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Come on. He's picked up a scent. Don't fall behind! You're gonna land us both in the dirt. Huh? Oh, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why'd he call him Uncle Ben? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. Find us a wolf, boy. Go. That's it, boy. Come on. He's found him. Watch yourself now, son. They might turn on us. Let's go. It's off on the trigger now. This one's mine. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. Cut. There they are! Come on, son! Come on! Come on! That 
was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Oh, please, huh? We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Pa shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Come on! You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Marston. Those wanted men in the West. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still got money. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. There you go. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Howdy, mister. <laughs> John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tales of hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Find Jack, Rufus. Come on. Where's Jack? Whoa, whoa. Come on. Find Jack, boy. Boy, can you smell something? Yeah. Come on. Hurry, Rufus. Come on, boy. Where is he? Come on. Find Jack, Rufus. Here. Go. Come on, Rufus. 
Find Jack. Are you up here, Jack? Jack! Answer me! going off on your own. You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Yeah. Now hold tight. You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son? I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Come on! Easy. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I'm sorry I made you worry, Paul. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Let's 
Let's move them out! Whoa. Come on! Let's get them out to pasture! over gray. Let's take him out to the plane. Come on, let's go. Come. Move it Easy. Up. You take care. Yeah. Thank the Lord. The hero returned. They don't know how lucky they are. Shut it, old man. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. After the herd, I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today.
What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? Come on, follow me. Let's go. Deal now. Why you gotta act so diggity all the damn time? What happened to you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on, get old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Get up. Whoa. Hey. I see him. Come on. Go! 
think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask. Let's go! Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't meant the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here. John, come here, quick. Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. OK. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Let's get that gun ready, old man. What on earth? This don't look good. No, I won't let you take them again. Come on now. Come on, man. I'll keep watch out here. I doubt you'll be needing this.
Come on! Can't stay out here! What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many they're all. No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Well, you want to die? Oh. Time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there. Stay close and keep your eyes open. Paul, up on the hill. I see him. Get behind something. I won't make you. Stay down! Nobody moves till I say so! 
Hey, watch it! Can I borrow this, friend? Come on! Let's head for the barn! You said this was over! Stay in cover! Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs> Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go!
Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. You should be able to catch him if you leave now. How do you do? Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Excuse me, you Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. 
<laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Thank you. 